The Navy is using virtual technology right now to train the next generation of leadership on the bridge. At Work Point in the Squam, all junior officers are learning some real-world skills inside a simulated bridge environment, and it looks like the real thing. The navigation and bridge simulator employs sophisticated software that creates a virtual world. And news reporter Eric Thompson had a look for himself visiting the officers' training center this morning. He joins us now with more. Eric. Hudson, the Canadian Navy has been using this technology for more than a decade. It saves hundreds of thousands of dollars by providing training without having to send ships to sea. But the real value of this software is its effectiveness. To execute this maneuver, I intend to come left 30 degrees. To... Naval Reservist Douglas Humphreys is learning how to navigate and operate a warship inside a virtual world. This is one of four bridge simulators at Venture, the Naval Officers Training Centre, located at Work Point in Esquimalt. In here, we're working amongst ourselves. We all rotate through the different positions, and it allows us to fine-tune our skills before we actually get into the ships and we're in the eye of the ship's company and the captain of the ship as well. Humphreys and his fellow trainees spend between three and five weeks working on their techniques by conducting various maneuvers and exercises. The difference is there's no reset button at sea, and that's about it. They have contacts that uh, you have to alter course to avoid, and you have to report to the captain and take, uh, take correcting action, and it's very much like that at sea. Retired Naval Commander Paul LeBlanc is one of about 20 mentors who are helping train the next generation of Canadian naval leadership. The people that are acting as mentors here have hundreds of years of experience of being captains of ships and officers in ships, so it's a great opportunity to pass our experience on to the young officers that we're training. The navigation and bridge simulator takes training to the next level. It's far different from what LeBlanc experienced as a junior officer. I remember it very well. You know, weeks on end at sea, uh, training interrupted by weather, uh, ship's company uh, driven very hard to get a very few number of officers trained. Very, very expensive. The navigation and bridge simulator technology has been used by the Canadian Navy since 1997. The software is constantly being upgraded to make it more realistic as well as more interactive and engaging. We have several different models of ships. We have the Orca class, which are our new training vessels the uh, maritime coastal defense vessels, which are operated by the Naval Reserves, and then we have all of our classes of major warships and submarines. This simulation shows the view from a helicopter flying about 50 meters over Esquimalt Harbor during the International Fleet Review, which takes place on the weekend of June 11th. This program recreates all of the characteristics and models of the ships that will be visiting the Esquimalt approaches. It provides a realistic scope for the reviewing platform, HMCS Algonquin, which will sail between them. The International Fleet Review is part of the Naval Centennial Celebrations. It takes place June 9th through 14th. And Hudson, the Navy says the navigation and bridge simulator is helping increase the number of graduates each year. In 2009, 740 personnel graduated from various courses. This year's number is expected to jump to about 1,100. Fascinating. Is that what they mean by phoned it in? You, you That's right. I called, <laughs> you that, called that one in. Called that one in. That's right. <laughs> All right. Looks good, Eric. Thank you. You're welcome.